What's up guys, Casper here, and today I'm doing another tutorial. I'm pretty sure I have no idea what I'm going to call this, but for now I'm going to go with Advanced Masking. Uh, this was actually requested by a subscriber. I think he subscribed. Either way, it was requested by him, so here we go. Alright, so first I got a clip from Call of Duty. Yes, I know. I haven't played Xbox in a while, and I just got this and got off. But pretty much what you want to do for this effect, you can pretty much scroll through. You see him running. He can, like, stop there, and then he'll stay. his picture will stay there, yet he'll keep running. And then you do that, stop again, stop again. Like, this is good for real-life things. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, it can be used for... Uh, I'm trying to think, like, uh, sport montages and stuff like that. Uh, sport as in extreme sports. Uh, biking, uh, if you do a jump, skateboarding, stuff like that. So I'm going to get to work on this, and I'll tell you guys what I do and show you how to do it. So first thing you want to do, you want to get your base clip for your base layer. Uh, if you want to get rid of the spectating thing, always keep this in mind. You just back out and then stretch it out. But I don't really care right now. Uh, actually, let's keep it like that. Not a big deal. All right. So let me just go back to fit. Nope, that's the wrong thing. Fit. All right. So now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to duplicate the base layer, which is going to be untouched as many times as you want to do a mask going across. So I'm just going to lock the base layer just so actually, no, I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to click the base layer and do con control or command. Uh, I have a Mac, so Command, con so I'm doing Command D, and then you do that as many layers as you want. So I'm going to do four, four masks. So one, two, three, four. Obviously, these are different numbers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave them like that because they're pretty much the same thing. Now I'm going to lock the base layer just so I don't, <laughs> I'm going to lock it just so I don't screw it up. And I'm just going to kind of change the colors so I know. I'm dealing with different stuff. All right, so they're different things. Um, what you're, what you want to do now is pretty much go through the timeline, and you want to play your clip, or just drag it along, and then you look and you're like, I want to stop there. So I'm gonna pick my second base because that's in order, uh, going numerically. So I click that, and then. You want to click the pen tool, yeah, pen tool, and make a mask around it, around around whatever you ever you want. By the way, I'm pretty sure that you can do this if the camera's moving. You just got a motion track. I have no idea how to do that. Well, I do in a way, but I don't really feel like doing it because it's very time consuming. But it's perfect if you have uh, still footage. So cinematics would be great. So click that and make a rough mask or an actual really good mask. I'm just doing a rough mask because, well, you know, it's this is not like an editing masterpiece. All right, so you finish that. Now what you want to do is you want to take your little slider handle, oh, jeez, take your slider handle and then move it to the point in time where it's at and then go to layer, time, freeze frame. And then you can just hit the unview button for, or the eyeball for that, and then you can move on to your next one. So it's going to be, say, there, here. So I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to select my next base. So then I do the rough mask and try and get it all as best I can without being incredibly not good. This is really some terrible masking, but it's just to show you guys the basic. Uh, basic stuff about this. Alright, layer, time, freeze frame, and unview. And then your next one, base 4, right here will be good. So mask it out, do this as many times as you want, and no matter what, if you do it a lot more, if you do it a lot little, the result will still be the same. So, alright, got that. Take your slider. Slide it over. Now you just want to layer, time, freeze frame. Fifth base, scroll, or whatever. 
the end, the last one that I'm doing. <clears throat> uh, pen tool, again, make a mask. Pretty much the same process for all of these. Do, 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 do. Alright, so that's that. And no idea why that guy just popped up, but whatever. Not a big deal. So there's that. Oh, I didn't hide it. So there's the last one. Now I'm going to go again, layer, time, freeze frame. And pretty much you're done here. Now, obviously, you want to go into your thing, bases, go into your masks, and make sure that it's on add. If it's not on add, it will be messed up. So just, you know, click the drop down arrow, go to masks, mask one, or whatever mask you're doing. Um, so there's that. All right, now you just want to make them all visible. Go back to your start and make sure that your base layer is on the bottom. That's it's always going to have to be on the bottom regardless, uh, because otherwise, let me unlock it. If I layer it differently, then it won't appear, as you can see. So, base has to be on the bottom. Absolutely has to. All right. Now, if you just go play it through, you'll see, oh, what's up? I'm running, I'm running. Oh, stop, then I keep going, keep going, stop. Oh, keep going, keep going, up, oh, keep going, keep going, up. Oh, perfect cinematic, every time. So you can use this on, jeez, oh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Sorry. So you can pretty much do this on a lot of things, but montages are mainly where they're seen, uh, whether it be for games or real life sports and all that stuff. So just remember you got to be kind of standing still and looking at something from a straight angle like not can't be moving the camera or else it won't really come out good cuz you want to make it flow. Well, I guess you could, but it would be really bad on the masks and it would kind of just go everywhere and it wouldn't look good. But at eh, whatever floats your boat, you can do whatever. Uh so yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh comment rate subscribe all that great stuff um if you guys want to share the video on websites and stuff like that editing websites that'd be awesome uh and i'm sorry i haven't made a video in a while like i always say <laughs> been really busy like i always say school friends all this other stuff so thanks for watching guys and peace